Now we're joined by junior guard Ryan Bass. Ryan, thanks for joining us again on the program. It's good to have you back. Uh, let's talk about your increased role this season. I mean, I think the other the last game you played a career high, almost 40 minutes, 40, 40, 40, 40 points. Let's talk about your expanded role in the offense and how you think that's going. Uh, it's going pretty good. I think my confidence is up right now. I work really hard. The coach is giving me a tremendous amount of opportunity. I think he sees me working hard every day and understands that he can trust me a little bit more now, so just have to keep performing and keep being consistent. What uh, what has been the biggest addition to your game this season? Maybe something that you hadn't developed last year or something that uh, is just maybe even completely different? I think doing. just confidence. Confidence in uh, the stuff that I work on in the offseason was my jump shot. It's just kind of, kind of a streaky shooter, so I wanted to change that and be more of a consistent shooter. I just my confidence in the thing I shoot. Do you think uh, teams are maybe you know, uh, they realized how athletic you were and were able to, you know, guard against you knowing that you were an explosive player, but now it's difficult for them to uh, prepare for you, having a more steady jump shot. Uh, yeah, anytime you got a shooter like Travis Bader on your team, it'd be hard to focus on one guy beating you to focus because now you have to worry about somebody shooting the three. So now that I think both of us can knock down a jump shot, it makes it pretty difficult for a team to prepare. Um, do you think there it's possible, you know, you're a junior now, you're coming off the bench before, do you think it's possible that teams are starting to figure out how athletic and explosive you could be at times? Yeah, at times I think they they kind of know it still. I don't think they fully understand, but now I think they'll start seeing a little bit more. Having uh, the, the road games that you played recently at Western Illinois and the Dakotas, you've been through some of the better teams in the league. How do you uh, see the league race playing out, and, and what do you think you can do against them, you know, turn side when they come here? Well, I always feel comfortable when I'm in the arena, so knowing that those teams have to come back here, I think we can win out. Uh, as a team, defensively, um, opponents have been shooting you know, over 50%, I think, in the last three games. Is that a product of uh, something you guys need to do better, or is that just you know the, the byproduct of playing the best teams in the conference? Well, like Coach Campy always says, defense is attitude. It's a little bit of skill, but most of it is what you want to do and what you want your opponent to do. So I think if we change our mind state, uh, increase our attitude to want to play defense, I think we can shut those teams down. Rebounding uh, is something that you guys have actually been able to out-rebound other teams, you know, without having, you know, a, a dominant rebounder. Corey Pedros has at times been able to do that, but uh, it seems to be a concerted effort from the whole team. How, how much does that play into your team's success, being able to uh, you know, out-rebound opponents? It's huge. Uh, that's why I have programs like Michigan State, uh, Kansas, Syracuse, they always are pretty good at Pittsburgh because they out-rebound their opponents offensively and defensively. Uh, with increased playing time and a, a shorter bench, Coach Campy has shown that he's, you know wants to rely on seven people. Um, is fatigue an issue at all, or do you think you guys, because, you know, the concerted effort on, on uh, conditioning and training with Coach Sam Brown, that's something that you guys don't really need to worry about? Yeah, I don't think conditioning is really that big of a deal. I think if you drink water, a lot of water, and eat right, you should be able to. I mean, because we're still pretty young. We're not like the guys that play professionally. We're still, you know, 18 to 20, 30, sure. 22 years old, so we should be fine. What did you think of that last trip to the Dakotas? Was it any different, any better or worse, weather-wise? Or it was cold. Wise? It was really cold in North Dakota. South Dakota was a lot warmer than I expected it to be, but it was, it was pretty cold up north. Yeah, uh, Coach Campy does the Grizz Vision video. It looked like the Blair Witch Project. He had a big one, you know. <laughs> I don't even think he had a coat on, actually, now that Man, I think about no, it. He didn't really, he maybe put on a vest sometimes. You guys ever tell him he's going to catch a cold? No, but he reminds us of it. I think I'm gonna start telling him to put his hat on. Uh, so, you know, we'll get the on another note in the NFL. We've got the conference championships coming up. Uh, are you a big football fan? Uh, I like the Cowboys. You're a Cowboys fan? I'm a Cowboys. Fan. Not a Browns or Ravens fan oh, from Ohio. Uh, who would you like to see in the Super Bowl? Oh, I'd like to see the if Cowboys. You can't, obviously, you can't, can't have the Cowboys. Um, I think I'm gonna Not go with year. the 49ers and the Ravens this year. You think that'd be a fun matchup to watch? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, Ryan. Well, I appreciate it, and good luck on here on out. And uh, we'll see you this coming up. Four straight games at the arena. I've got six of, six of seven, actually, in fact, which should be pretty nice for you guys. Yeah, great. Join us again later this season for another another edition of Grizz Talk.